Ho, ho, ho! Hey, crew! Here we are. We're back at Water Girl Quilt Co. with our Quilters Advent Box, and it is December 23rd. Let's see what the Water Girl Quilt Co. elves put in our box today. Hmm. Okay, feels like some kind of marking tool. Let's just see here. I'll open this baby up. And what do we got? We have, ah, yes, we have a Frixion pen in red. It's erasable. So how are you going to use this to erase? Okay, well, let me tell you a little bit about the Frixion pens. They come in a lot of colors. They were made to be erasable ink. You can erase them with the little eraser on the tip, but you can also erase them with heat. They were not intended for quilters, according to the research that I have done, but you know, we're crafty people and we're like, hey, this is useful with fabric too. Now, whenever you use a marking tool on fabric, you always want to test it on a scrap of your fabric first. Doesn't matter what kind of marking tool. You want to make sure it's going to come out as it says it should and that it's not going to change the dyes or anything. So what I have learned in my journey as a quilter is Frixion pens are great on light colored fabrics. They iron off and you don't know they were ever there. However, I have used them on, actually the color red, I used a black Frixion pen on a deep color red and when I erased it, I got white marks left in my fabric. So that doesn't mean these are not good pens because I think they're fabulous. You just have to know when and why to use them. Okay, so I do use them when I am working with my Tucker ruler, my Tucker magic wand, because I want to make some half square triangles. So I'm just going to use this and I'm going to draw my lines right on my fabric. Oops, didn't really go straight there. Okay, so now you can see I've got my two red lines there on my fabric and I'd be able to go and sew down there to make my half square triangles. Okay, so then when I go to press open these half square triangles, well, the nice thing is these marks are going to disappear. So here I go, I'm gonna take, oh no, first I'm gonna show you that you can use the eraser. So I could use the eraser, but it's a little bit awkward on fabric. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't work the greatest on fabric, it's better on paper. So I'm gonna use my iron. So just like that, the marks are gone. So it is a heat erase, okay? So really handy when you need to just put a temporary line on your fabric. Again, fabulous tool for light colored fabrics in my experience. But let me tell you my favorite use for Frixion pens. I've got my technique sampler block of the month I've been working on all year for modern blended quilts. I love using my Frixion pens for ticking off my steps as I go through a pattern. And the nice thing about that is I've already finished this block. So say I'm going to go make this one again. Woohoo! Here we go. Let's just get rid of the check marks. That's easier than a pencil and eraser. And now I'm ready to make this pattern again and start ticking off with my heat erasable marker. So that is a fun little tool for you to use in your quilting um, projects. I'm going to see you back here tomorrow when it's Christmas Eve and we're going to open our second to last package. Have a wonderful day, crew. Stay safe, stay hopeful, and do something that makes you smile.